So now I'm going to give you a little insight into what I think is probably one of the highlights of the Emirates Vintage Collection, which is a collection of some of the very, very best wines that we'll ever see on Emirates Airline. This particular wine is called Chateau Margaux. It's from the famous region of Bordeaux in France. And to some, I think Chateau Margaux is probably the most famous of all the Bordeaux wines, famous for, for many reasons. First of all, because of the chateau itself, a Neo-Palladian style villa that was built uh, for the owner in the early 1800s, has become an iconic building in the Medoc. Chateau Margaux has for long been one of the, the most prized wines of the Medoc and Pessac Lyonion area. And when it came to the famous 1855 classification, uh, Chateau Margaux was, was there in the top four wines, one of the, the prized first gross of the Medoc. So what makes Chateau Margaux really that special is as a combination of it, its soil, its exposure to the sun, the topography of the vineyards. There's a, a, a flowing thought through all the, the Bordeaux vineyards and it, it all revolves around the composition of, of the vineyards. A lot of gravel deposits were brought down by the Gironde River from the Pyrenees Mountains. And these gravel deposits make up some of the most famous areas of the Medoc. So to the north you have saint Estef, and then to the south, just below saint Estef, you have Poyac. A little bit of distance away, Saint-Julien, and then towards the south, Margot. Within Margot itself, you find that the, the largest gravel deposits are around the core of the Chateau Margot vineyard itself. And without anyone uh, in Bordeaux being able to describe exactly what it is, that gives Chateau Margaux its unique character, it is certainly these gravel deposits which have influenced it. There's great similarities between the communes or the style of wines from the communes in the Medoc, between Poyac, Saint-Julien, saint Estef, and Margaux itself. They're all planted mainly with Cabernet Sauvignon because it's the Cabernet Sauvignon which is most suited to the gravel soils that you find in the Medoc. In Margot itself, you find a, a very different style of wine to that of Saint-Julien or even Poyac. The Margot wines tend to be softer, more alluring, silkier, and some people say have a more feminine side to them, whereas the wines of Poyac, which is up north, are a more, more structured, a more masculine style of wine. So like many of the great chateaus in the Medoc, Chateau Margot has a very rich history. After a series of difficult years in Bordeaux and for Chateau Margaux, a Greek family named Mensalopoulos bought Chateau Margaux in 1977. Fortunately for them, this was followed by a string of very, very successful vintages uh, in the 1980s, starting with 1982, and less so for other Bordeaux properties, but 1983 was particularly successful for the Margaux region and Chateau Margaux itself. So that really turned the fortunes of for Chateau Margaux and, and the Bordeaux region in general. The vintage of Chateau Margaux we have here is the 2004, which will be going on board the European routes sometime after August 2019 for a few months. Okay, I'm gonna open this wine up now, leave it a while before tasting it, which is what I'd recommend you do. If you have a look at the wine menu early on as you get on board, and then you've, you can order one of these decanters from the crew members and put the wine in the decanter for half an hour or so, or a bit more perhaps, which will just give the wine a chance to open and develop some of the, the aromatics. I suggest consumption of Chateau Margaux 2004 will be quite high because it is one of, well, the most prized wines of the world, one of the rarest wines of the world, and it's such an icon that it, it is gonna draw a crowd, I'm pretty sure. So we'll give this a little try now. It's been in the decanter for about an hour. We should have opened it up considerably. Such a brilliant sort of claret color. Almost no signs of aging on the color. And I know that's so inviting yet almost difficult to describe. It's so complete. I think red fruits is, is really what you notice on the nose. Like a red currant, a sort of a raspberry, but very, very deep. 
almost a, a sort of an, an earthy-like quality. And notes of truffle and a hallmark Bordeaux sort of cedar style. Yeah, I mean, that really is quite phenomenal. This for me is classic Margot. It's got that seamless integration. It's got the elegance. It's got weight without being overtly powerful. And it's so harmonious. I don't think you could mistake it for any of the, of the great appellations of Bordeaux. A wine like this is... Is, is a rarity in life. A wine like this on an airline is, is perhaps even more rare. So if you are on board, it is a wine that you cannot overlook. It's gonna provide so much pleasure to so many people. I just hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Santé.